As someone who has been studying psychology in college since 2003 and went on to get a master's to practice as a therapist for the majority of that time, this is what I know for sure about anxiety that I wish somebody would have taught me sooner. You see, in addition to having this background in mental health, I also have a history as a patient myself because I struggle with ADHD and anxiety. And no one ever quite explained to me that anxiety is merely the distance between the thought, which produces anxiety, and the behavior, which reduces it. Anxiety is basically having an overactive brain and a lazy body. Anxiety looks like this. The other day, I'm closing the bathroom door and I think to myself, maybe there's germs on the bathroom knobs because, you know, I have a five-year-old. There's a lot that goes on with my bathroom. So maybe the bathroom knob still has germs on it, even though I washed my hands when I left. Random thought that is trying to protect me from getting sick. I live with a chronic illness and germs are not my friend. Now, what anxiety will look like is that I would become very obsessed with this thought and I will keep thinking about it and thinking about it and worrying about it and worrying about it and go down the rabbit hole about it. Another decision that I made was instead to go get my Lysol spray and spray all of the knobs in the bathrooms. Suddenly, I felt a peace and I wasn't anxious about germs being on my hand. Does that cure my anxiety? Not necessarily, because my brain is hardwired to figure out what's wrong. I have a Mars Virgo. That's what I do. I'm a critic. Capricorn stellium. I am very critical and my standards are extremely high. I strive really hard to find joy and satisfaction in life because my default is to find what's wrong. I mean, think about it. That is why I became a therapist, because it's easy for me to figure out what's wrong with you. But the problem is when your brain is hardwired to find problems, it's not hardwired to also feel good. <laughs> so I have to work twice as hard to fill my brain with positivity so I do feel good. So a lot of Virgo's issues, if you struggle with anxiety like I do, or anybody that has you know, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their sixth house is that you delay taking the action that will reduce your anxiety. If you got in the habit of doing something about the thought, if it's something that you can actually mitigate, that would greatly reduce your anxiety. The problem is you choose to do nothing and continue to worry, or you choose to focus on things that you absolutely have no control over, which you really should be praying about and releasing to the universe. So the next time you have an anxious thought, my recommendation, decide what category it's in. Is it something you can do something about? If so, go ahead and take the action and diminish the impact of those thoughts and the, the emotions those thoughts produce in your body. And secondly, if you've identified that it's something you cannot do anything about, like why are people so stupid, then pray about it, have deep breaths about it, meditate about it, and develop some compassion and move on.